Hey everyone, my name is Root, and we are here. This is going to be week number five of the APA Academy, and we're up against uh, Jack and his Los Angeles Valientes. I've known Jack for a little bit now. Uh, he seems like a really cool dude. Uh, I'm really excited to finally get to battle him for the first time. Um, I have seen him around pretty much all over the place uh, as of recently, but here we go. We're going to go straight in with the Garchomp, the Mega Metagross, uh, Tornadus, Hitmonchan, Mimikyu and Greninja. Okay, so right off the bat, leaving behind Tangrowth, which is bananas to me. Uh, no Incineroar, no Gastrodon, which is really funny with my uh, two bulky waters, but um, also just leaving behind Blissey, which is interesting, and also just the, the Dragology on the Road on Frost, which is more expected, but um, a few of them really just catching me, up my, catching me by surprise. So, but what I want to lead off with, I mean, I could see him just definitely leading off with the Garchomp. That seems like the most standard lead, although Tornadus is a definite possibility. Uh, heck, Metagross can lead here. I think. I think. Hmm. My. Huh. I Honestly, part of me wants, just wants to lead off with my... With my Vicavolt here. Vicavolt seems like a really interesting lead. Although Vicavolt does kind of beat a lot of his team. I'm going to lead off. I'm going to lead off with my Palkia here. So my Palkia is a very, very defensive one. Uh, in order to try to take on his Mimikyu. Um, but it is the only member of my team with Ice Beam. So, we might have to eat up a Garchomp hit, which is going to really limit its ability to kind of take on the Mimikyu later on in the, ga in the match. But, eliminating the Garchomp and still having my Blastoise as a, a defensive check to a potential, um, to a potential Mimikyu later on in the match might be my answer here. But no, it ends up leading off with the Greninja here. So, I would really strongly expect this Greninja to want to you turn on me right now i don't see him really wanting to stay in maybe he probably did expect me to want to uh lead off with my mammoth swine here but this really does feel like a reasonably free opportunity to click sub on a u-turn which i think is what i want to do here i'm gonna go for that i'm gonna go for that does click u-turn uh, i will be able to gauge a little bit here with uh this palkin he's gonna be able to tell just how defensive i am that is pretty strong although it is stab so i do have to keep that in mind but hang on 197 uh down to 155 is 42 points of damage that could be reasonably standard greninja a A special protein one uh, with U-turn. I mean, at the very least, it, it does it does kind of make me feel better that he wasn't just like a straight up spikes lead or something like that. But yeah, no, that is actually pretty physically offensive. Could that be max physical defense for physical offense? No, it's not. It's not. Uh, I might have missed a life orb or something like that. Maybe. Let me see. Oh, one second here. Yeah, no, that's almost definitely just straight up max attack here. That's almost definitely just straight up max attack here. But does go into this thing. I'm not too, too sure what this thing wants to do. Probably just wants to drain punch. I can just click surf against this thing. Uh, get as much damage off as I can. I mean, this thing could very well be AV. I know Hitmonchan's, uh, do have a decent amount of special bulk. Yeah, th yeah, that is what I'm going to guess in the situation. Uh, Hitmonchan. Uh, that brought the Hitmonchan, uh, down to about, down about 30%. Um... Yeah, this thing is almost definitely Assault Vested. This thing is almost definitely Assault Vested. 
Which does uh, kind of make it a little bit awkward here. I can just try to go into Heracross here and go straight up for a close combat. He doesn't have too many counterplays to a close combat here. Hmm. I mean, I could also definitely just go into Togekiss here. For sure, for sure. Togekiss feels pretty viable here. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. He's going to see that I'm not terribly offensively invested. Let's go for the Thunder Punch. Definitely predicted me there, but uh, I'm not too, too concerned. I'm not the most concerned here. Air Slash is doing nowhere near as much as I would hope it would, but it does enough. It does enough. And yeah, yeah, I would not even expect him to really want to stay in here. Uh, Metagross is, is a definite possibility. But Metagross would put me in a really interesting position with something like my Heracross, potentially. I have to imagine my Heracross is a potential switch in at that point. Um, and then I could try to maneuver around a little bit. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm off base on that. He, he, he does a definite other possibilities. Um, but regardless, yeah, it does just switch out. Okay. Goes into Tornadus. Um, I would highly doubt that this thing is Scarfed, and this is a very potential... Oof, okay. That is going to be a massive, massive roll, but it's just going to have to be kind of a roll that I uh, go for here. It's just going to have to be something that I go for here. He, he's also going to know that I'm max attack adamant. This thing could on honestly also just be super specially defensive. Um, maybe he's just going all in on a strategy to kind of shut down my Palkia. Knowing that um, Mimikyu is a really solid potential check to a, to a, yeah, he probably knows that I'm Scarf too, but does go into the Metagross, that's totally fine. We'll be able to Bullet Punch, and I don't think he can, I'm gonna imagine that he's not, that he's really not gonna feel like he's able to afford, um, that he's gonna be able to afford going for something other than Bullet Punch, just because of the fact that, uh, just because I can flinch him down potentially, or at least get a flinch or two off in the situation. But what type of damage is Mega Metagross doing to a Heracross switch in? Ooh, Heracross is not doing enough damage. Well, that's to a max uh, HP. Mega Metagross, so I don't know where that leaves me here. Um, could also click Rock Slide, I mean, I guess that's a possibility. But... Either way... I like... I like my... Uh... I like this thing switching in here. Honestly, knockoff does almost as much as close combat, and it kind of protects against um, anything else switching in, but in particular the Mimikyu. Um, let's go for the Meteor Mash. So, was risking getting flinched down in that situation. That does a lot of damage, but it looks like, yeah, now I'm just in bullet punch range. It looks like I'm going to attempt a knockoff here. Maybe he's going to hard read me to want to go for the close combat here, or an Earthquake, but... Um, That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I think what I'm going to have to do is going to Blastoise and try to start doing some damage with Blastoise, although the, that Hitmonchan is really going to shut me down quite a bit. And also... Yeah, the way that he's playing... The way that I can see his defensive mods in interacting against mine... It's going to make it really difficult for my, um, for my, 
Vicavolt to really maneuver around. Because, okay, so my Vicavolt has a really solid opportunity in this matchup. In if, if, the Mimikyu has its disguise broken. If the Mimikyu has its disguise broken, then I have a really interesting chance here. But, what, what would I otherwise do here? I, I think he doesn't have Bullet Punch, to be honest. It kind of looks like he doesn't have Bullet Punch here. Um... I want to go into Blastoise. I want to, I want to try to start to get, um, my, me my Mega Evolution going reasonably quickly. And, yeah, also that EV Hitmonchan is really going to limit my Vicavolt as well. I, that, that, that needs to be weakened as well, and, and ideally I wouldn't have to kind of uh, burn my Z-move on that, but it's a possibility. It's a definite possibility here. So here, here I'm kind of feeling like the best play would be to give up my Togekiss on an expected Drain Punch, and even if he does predict that and KOs my Togekiss, I don't think that's the most concerning here. I don't think it's the most concerning, because he either gets HP back, or, or the Togekiss allows my Mamoswine to come in. Now, I honestly cannot recall whether or not this thing gets gets Bullet Punch or not, but I guess I should look that up now. My instinct says no, but it, who knows? Hitmonchan. It does get Bullet Punch. Okay, so pretty likely would have Bullet Punch, but so far we see Drain Punch, Thunder Punch. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ice Punch? Or was the Ice Punch, uh... I think the Ice Punch was Medic Rose. Regardless, um, I don't see that huge of a downside to just clicking Air Slash here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. And with this thing being so defensive, it probably doesn't have enough speed to just straight up outspeed my Mamoswine. Uh, is what I'm thinking. Because Hitmonchan, right, is base, yeah, base 76, so... My mouse, my mouse mind is not uh, max speed, and, it, and even if it was, my mouse mind is adamant. But um, given how defensive this thing is, it uh, makes me think that it wouldn't run enough speed because I believe I only have enough speed to outspeed um, no speed guard chomp by a few points. In case that's a super defensive guard chomp, possibly Aji Berry, um, but. Uh, I would be surprised if this thing ran a bunch of speed, although maybe, I don't know, if, if, if anything, this thing could run enough speed for maybe, um, no speed Mammoth Swine or something lower like that, but, um, regardless, this, okay, this is another super defensive mon here, but... Huh. This could allow him to get rocks up, but it could... A flinch here would be incredible. A flinch here would be pretty incredible. But I wouldn't... I think Vicavolt is my win con, regardless of what happens. I think Vicavolt can win on its own. But I do also think that... I do also think that... Goes for the poison jab. Okay. Okay. Preventing rocks is... So much more important than most other things that could have happened in this situation. So. I kind of want to go for Vicavolt here. I don't know if that's crazy right now, but I kind of want to just go for Vicavolt here. Also, Mammoth, also Mammoth Swine getting rocks up would be huge in this moment. This thing felt... Like it was max HP, so it might not. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna make an attempt at rocks here. I'm gonna make an attempt at rocks here. 
Tornadus is his best removal, but uh, his his best removal obviously um, doesn't really want to come in on this thing. Uh, yeah, I think I feel okay about it. A again. The best case scenario would be if this Mimikyu had its disguise broken already. But short of that, I think getting rocks up and going for a Vicavol just straight out the gate might be better for me in the longer run. Although now I'm kind of wishing that I, that I was uh, Electric Z instead of Bug Z. Does withdraw. Do we see... Okay, we do see this thing. I honestly don't really mind. I don't... I don't think he really... Uh... I guess sees what I'm trying to do here, but... Um... I don't even really see... I don't think he sees my win con, is what I'm saying. Um... Even though, again... Mimikyu is an issue. Mimikyu is a definite, definite issue. But... What I think I can do here... Huh. I'm gonna go hard into Blastoise here. I'm gonna go hard into Blastoise here. Magnet Rise. Okay. That's- that's dope, but I don't know- I don't really understand what Magnet Rise does for him above and beyond just, um, just, uh, hitting me with Meteor Mash. I mean, I guess he was guarding against Papyri, but I have to imagine just what looks to be like a super max attack, um, uh, Metagross hitting me with Meteor Mash. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I really just want to click Surf here for the incoming Hitmonchan, just to kind of wear it down a little bit. If the Hitmonchan gets worn down, then... Man, I really want to break that disguise. I really want to break that disguise. I so aggressively want to break that disguise. But, I think he knows that he's going to let his Hitmonchan get worn down a little bit here. Um, it doesn't even look like he has that great rock options here. Um, he could potentially want to defog with Tornadus and try to get the, get the HP back through Regenerator. And that would leave him in an okay spot um, if he just wants to like defog here. But, uh, yeah. I think this might be a sack. I'm not. Um, this might just get KO'd on the come in here. Um, but what's he trying to? Set? Okay, it doesn't. But uh, what is he trying to set up here? What's he trying to set up here? Is he just trying to set up rocks? No, just goes for the outrage. I mean, okay. Okay. Uh, I would highly doubt that the that the Metagross has rocks, so that's pretty much ensuring no rocks, which is pretty fantastic for my Vicavolt, because that means Vicavolt's going to be able to um, take hits as well as it possibly can against the Mimikyu. And I could honestly probably burn Bug Z on the Hitmonchan, although uh, it probably wouldn't even be worth it at this point. Oh, man. I guess I can burn... I guess I can burn Bug Z. No. There's nothing even worth burning Bug Z on. Electric Z was way more worth it, but... Um, Bug Z... Looked like it KO'd... Like a straight KO'd... Um, Garchomp from full. So, okay. So far, we've seen... Magnet Rise. Ice Punch... Magnet Rise, Ice Punch, Meteor Mash. And I have to imagine that that last move is going to be Earthquake. Um, from that Metagross. So that potentially means that Vicavolt can set up on the Metagross. 
it looks like the only thing that could really stop a scarf to, uh, a plus two vicka vault with after agility would be a scarfed greninja maybe the turn tornadus is scarfed but i have to imagine that the um that the Mimikyu is just straight up like Swords Dance and, you know, all the setup. All the setup that he would want to do here. Uh, it does go into this thing. I'd be curious if this thing wants to... I'm just gonna click Toxic. I'd be curious if this thing just wants to defog. No, it goes for the U-turn. So that's interesting. I think you... Okay, if he goes into Hitmonchan, then that would be probably the best case scenario here. I don't know. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah, okay. So we'll take the rocks and the toxic. So now, is there another switch that's worth making here? I don't think there is. Um. Hmm. I wonder if... I mean, does this thing have anything that would prevent Vigil from kind of setting up here, too? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think he's trying to weaken my potential answers to Mimikyu, and he's trying to win with a Mimikyu now. But I think I could just reasonably safely click Surf, even if he clicks Drain Punch here. Uh, he's going to do a lot of damage for sure, for sure, but... Um, actually, not near as much damage as I would have expected, but... Um, I can deal the damage back and get a little extra through Toxic. Which, again, is just going to open the door for Vicavolt. Um. Yeah, there's nothing left to do. Because if this thing goes down, Vicavolt resists Stab. He would have to have, like, Rock Slide in order to hit Vicavolt super effectively. Right? So... I mean, obviously, I have to be concerned about, um, I have to be concerned about the damage output, but, would he have Fire Punch? I don't think he has reason to run Fire Punch. I guess this is the time where we just kind of go for it, right? It feels like there's no reason not to. It feels like there's no reason not to. But I guess we just have to see. I guess we just have to see. I mean, obviously we have to take a plus two Shadow Sneak, which is going to be super dependent on any type of move that he goes for now. I mean, if you were to switch out, that would be absolutely bananas, but... um. Even if he does switch out, I don't think he has any reason to switch out into, into Mimikyu, which would be best case scenario, I guess, but also... Uh, it doesn't matter because he, uh, preserved the... Okay, okay, that looks promising. I guess I should just start calcing out whatever the heck it looks like Mimikyu's doing to me. It looks promising for being able to take a It looks reasonably promising for being able to take a plus 2 shadow sneak. So I guess we just have to see whatever we can do here. Oh, this also assumes life orb. The 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 standard one assumes it. It pretty much assumes worst case scenario. Uh, life orb and adamant. But also, it doesn't look like I'm particularly Oko-ing back, even after rocks, so... Uh, it, it looks even more tenuous than it did before. 
It looks even more tenuous than it did before. Although he could absolutely be fearing, like, Electrium Z. He could 100% just fear Electrium Z. Okay, so we did not get 6 owed. Did not get 6 owed. Uh, oh no, the uh, Garchomp already went down, so we were never gonna, we were we're not gonna get five owed. But his only real answer to this is Mimikyu. But huh, I don't know. Yeah, once this thing goes down, oh okay, this is concerned. It probably is. It's either it's either scarfed or it's going to. Have water shuriken. It's either scarfed or it's going to have water shuriken. Also, I don't think I outspeed every variation of of Greninja. I think I only outspeed a Greninja that's also speed creeping me. So uh, I have to be wary of that as well. But I think he's also planning on changing his typing and potentially taking a hit better. But I think my only real, real play is to just uh, pop Z move right now, right? Um, if we make him a neutral typing, then. Uh, I guess we just go for the Thunderbolt and see, what, and see whatever the heck happens. Is the thing Scarfed? It is Scarfed. does go for the U-turn. So he's definitely trying to set himself up to... Okay, whoa, okay. Oh, that's awful. That's, okay, that's worst case scenario. But he does have to sack off either the Tornadoes or the... Metagross, but he doesn't care. He doesn't have to care, but it is a Scarf Ninja, which is neat to know. But it also means that I could potentially force a Greninja to Scarf itself into something that doesn't beat the combination of Amoswine and the rest of my mods. Although, if it has Low Kick, then Low Kick would be exactly what he needs, because it is max attack, so a uh, Protein Low Kick would just beat the rest of my team outright. Protein low kick would just beat the rest of my team pretty much outright. He's probably calculating out whether or not Mimikyu uh, can just come in and... Uh... Is that Mimikyu? No, it's Renate. Okay. Oh, man. That crit really just stings. But I know that he knows that uh, now Mimikyu can come in. And clean up the rest of whatever's happening here. Mimikyu can come in. But once the Mimikyu comes in... He has to Shadow Sneak or get his Disguise broken. Which means I can potentially come in with Palkia. Break the Disguise. And then lose to, uh, lose to Greninja. So I don't think there's any way that I don't lose to Greninja at this point, but... Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's any way around that. I think that crit, like, 100% healed it. Like, I think... Potentially, depending on roles and depending on investments and all that type of, um... And different stuff. I had a chance at... Doing the thing with Vigavolt. With Vigavolt bringing it the entire way here. Uh... I don't know what he could possibly be thinking about. If, um... I guess he's trying to figure out if I'm reasonably defensive and that uh, Mimikyu KOs with Shadow Sneak, but uh, Mimikyu is always the play here, right? Mimikyu is always the play. I couldn't imagine any other... I don't know, maybe... I don't know. I'm trying to think... 
he goes into the Mimikyu. Yeah, okay. You know, for sure, for sure. Um... You know, I'm literally at 29 HP. That is awful, dude. Oof. He might not... It might be because he's, he doesn't have that much attack investment. So... He might just be, like, some kind of, uh... Bulkier one that's kind of depending on... On... Setting up. But all this has to... If this thing is max attack, then 30 with max attack, no boosting item, no boosting nature, 30 HP is the minimum damage. And I'm at 29. Uh, obviously, if he's not, then if he's like no investment, then I always take it. But if he's anywhere in between, then any, then anything has a chance. Any investment has a chance to take me out in the situation. So I'm going to collect Thunderbolt, but it's not really going to. It, I mean, we can always pray that this that it's no investment. It, okay, there there it is. Um, this thing would also have Drain Punch, so Mammoth Swan is not going to be the best play. Although Mammoth Swan might be a better bet than most other things here. Yeah, Mammoth Swan. Okay. Because I for sure, Mammoth Swan for sure loses to Greninja, although maybe I could maneuver it such that um, Palkia beats Greninja. So we're just gonna go for it here. Does withdraw. That's interesting. Sacks off the Metagross. Maybe thought I was gonna Icicle Crash? Or maybe thought I was just gonna Ice Shard to, just to break sub? But no, I was just clicking Earthquake. I felt like there were... Yeah, I don't know. And I don't have Ice Shard on this set, by the way. Uh, but either way, it didn't matter. I guess it mattered a little bit for breaking sub. But... Yeah, I don't know. Will be able to beat me with Greninja, though. However... However, however, however... My Palkia is max defensive. And both of his remaining Mons are physically offensive. So, if Palkia can hit... If Palkia can... Palkia is reasonably likely to be able to... Uh... Take two hits and be able to, to, like, hit these things back. Yeah. Yeah, there's the low kick for the win. That's what I was... That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Low kick just kind of, uh, beats me here. And... Man, that was a pretty rough one. That was a pretty rough one. All, all I did was I just said, uh, GG, man. But, um... Yeah, Vikavolt looks really good to me. Again, if I was an Electrium Z Vikavolt, and... I don't know. There were a lot of possibilities here. But... Uh... It all just kind of went down to... I mean, definitely... De Definitely, this match was kind of won and lost in in uh, prep, but I think I just made the wrong guesses, and he made uh, the right guesses, right? So, um, my only real, real goal here, my top goal here, was to not lose to Mimikyu, and I successfully did lose to Mimikyu, uh, even though Mimikyu is going to come in and get the final KO, but in doing that, I think I... I guess I possibly just overextended myself and um, hurt myself a little bit. And obviously, that crit really just aggressively hurt me. But all that, that crit did potentially was prevent me from being able to prevent me from being able to uh, break disguise on this Mimikyu. And yeah, that's that's gonna be the game. I don't know. We started out own five. I don't think I've ever started out own five before. It's a pretty rough way to be, but with that, thing, guys, so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the AP Academy. If you haven't checked those out, there will be plenty of stuff like the ICBA playoffs, the UBL playoffs, and uh, the PGP playoffs should be 
all coming uh, really, really soon from each other. So please do check those out. But with that, let's get the guys so much for watching. I hope you once again out.